Hi everyone, now I want to talk to you about data science roadmap. Many of you asked me this question and I, actually I think it's pretty important to talk about that. It's going to be a very long video, so I'm going to break it down to multiple videos. It's also easier to upload that as well. So I'm going to tell you what's the definition of roadmap. It's a strategic way in order to be successful in something. Or it's a strategic way is in order to be um, expert in an area. So today I want to talk about data science roadmap. It means that what are the strategic procedures that you need to follow to be an expert in the data science or to learn data science correctly and efficiently. All right. So that's the plan. So step number one to learn data science is that we need to be familiar with the concept of basic concept of math and statistics. I posted a video, a short video, was it like two and a half minutes? And I explain what concept that you must know and the concepts that are optional to know. But that was a very short video. Now here I want to talk about each piece in detail. All right. So consider a data science as an ecosystem. Now we want to see from the first step all the way to the last step, what are the skill set and the concept that you need to know. And that's what we call it as a comprehensive overview of the roadmap. All right. So number one, or the most uh, fundamental concept is the math and statistics. All right, so what do we need to know from math and statistics? We need to know linear algebra. We need to know Calculus, we need to know probability, and we need to know statistics. All right, so let's, let's talk about that. What concepts we need to know? All right, from the linear algebra, we need to know independent, independent. Under what condition the vectors are going to be independent? Linear equation. I call it solution of linear equation. And solving. Nonlinear equation. Right? Techniques like Newton method, Newton Robson method. Or techniques like the uh, gradient descent. So I will write it down here as well. Gradient descent or uh, Newton method. So there's all the concepts we need to know from the linear algebra. Of course, we need to have understanding of matrices and vectors as well, which I'm going to write a little bit here. Of course, we assume that we have an understanding of matrices and vectors. All right. And their properties, like norm and everything like that. So that's for the linear algebra. For a calculus, so of course, there's a very rich area of mathematics. But as far as data science is concerned, for calculus, we need to understand the integration and differentiation. Right? Precisely chain rule. Right? So this chain rule is going to show up in when you go to deep learning or any other concept. Um, for example, when you want to solve gradient descent, you need to be able to take the gradient of the objective with respect to the parameter that you want to minimize. Or when you want to understand the concept of back propagation in deep learning, you need to understand the concept of chain rule. So it's actually quite important. From the probability side, so probability is like a basic of this machine learning concept. 
So from the policy side, we need to understand the um, expectation. We need to understand variance. We need to have a good understanding of um, law of total probability. We need to understand phase law. This is the most important. And also law of large number perhaps. Law of large number. Right? So this is the from the probability side. And now the statistics, we need to understand um, p value. Z and T test. We need to have a good understanding of A B testing. And also we need to have a good understanding of Bayesian and frequencies statistics. I have a video about most of these concepts. But if any concept is not familiar for you guys, let me know, I can make a more video about that. So Bayesian versus frequencies. Bayesian and frequencies. Alright, so we need to understand this concept. That's it basic of the math and the statistics that we need for data science. Once we understand this concept, we are going to be good to begin data science uh, career. All right, so this is going to be number one thing. I'm going to also talk about the, what's the second uh, step. So once we are comfortable with these concepts, then we need to understand that what programming language we need for the for data science. So let me erase this one, and then we're going to start the programming language. So what do we need to know about this program language as well? Alright, so I write here programming language. Alright, that's number two. Number one was basic math and statistics or math and statistics. So program language, the absolute most important program language you need is Python. All right, but what do we need from Python? We need the basic syntax, like variables, let me write it like this. Assignment, for loop, rating, saving data and many more of those but this is basic we need to understand function we need to understand data structure and i'm not talking about the crazy data structure like a heap or graph i'm talking about the basic ones i'm talking about this list array Data frame, um, dictionary, and set. This is what we need to know. And then, once you're comfortable with all this yourself, you need to understand object oriented programming. Object oriented programming. And for that, we need to know. Classes, how to define classes, how to instantiate a class, and then we need to know inheritance. Alright, that's going to be perhaps good. This is for the Python side. Alright, we need to understand this concept, we need to be comfortable with these concepts. 
and also data scientists are not familiar with object-oriented programming for machine learning engineer you definitely need that because any package you write or have to write it as a form of a class in order to call it very easily in order to actually form it as like a package in it in it too in order to even install it as well okay but this is like what we need from the python side all right let me tell you another mandatory uh, concept that we need to know in uh, for the data science besides python and that's going to be sql so let's just spend some time on sql all right so we need to know sql absolutely we need to know sql because data is not going to be stored in csv file in academia people usually work with the csv file etc your data is going to be in some sort of relational or non-relational databases. For relational, let's learn SQL. That's the most dominant language to pull the data from the database. And that's like the number one choice. Or a lot of, most industries still use SQL. But all variation of SQL. Either SQL Server, Amazon Redshift. It's going to be MySQL, Snowflake, also some variation of this. But okay, let's talk about this. What do we need to know about SQL? So SQL is not a, like a full uh, programming language like Python. So it's very easy to learn that. I will tell you what you need to know from SQL. These are the commands that you need to know. Select a statement. Um, Ver for the filter. Join. Join means outer. Inner. Left. And well, there are more than there are more than these four, but these are the dominant ones that we will use. We need to know group by. We need to know window function. Okay, partition by window function. We need to know order by command, and then the most important one, the most uh, versus that one is CT common table expression right. of course there are much more commands than this you can have a subquery or other stuff but we want we don't want to talk about them right now these are the things that you need to know in order to learn SQL very very well I can tell you that you can learn SQL very well in a week very very well in a week. SQL is a very easy language, but it's a must. It's absolutely you need to know that. Alright? So number one Python, then SQL. Then depends on the company, you may want to also uh, know R. So here we have some room here. I'm gonna use R as well. I will use as optional. Because R is a language that is mainly used in the statistical uh, domain in academia. I don't think most tech companies even use R because when you want to productionize the model, R code does not go to like no production. And also software engineers do not really interact with R. So when you want to productionize the model, you collaborate with software engineers as a data scientist or machine learning engineer or scientist. And software engineers do not use R. But if you want to decide to use, uh, learn R in your career, um, learn the basic syntax the same as Python, and then learn to develop the function. All right? There are much more, of course, to the R. R, by the way, is not object-oriented programming. R is functional. Okay? So there is no definition of class. It's significantly easier, but it's not really a good language compared to Python. It's much, much less versatile than Python, especially once you get to the modern machine learning, R has nothing to say compared to Python. If you go to the uh, backend development or um, web development, R has nothing to say compared to Python. All right. So Python and SQL are the main one, and then R also is a language you can uh, learn after your computer reads it. All right. I'm gonna finish this video at this point. This is gonna be uh, part one. In the next part, I'm gonna talk about the list of Python packages that you need to be comfortable with if you want to get to data science and machine learning and be really good and expert in that. And I'm going to talk about the explanatory data analysis in Python. Right. So that's the first step is when you actually get the data.
feature engineering part of that. What, what do you do with the data? How do you clean the data? And how do you do the anomaly detection, missing value amputation, and all this stuff? One of the most important part of the uh, data science. And then that's going to be the next video. And then over the other videos, I'm going to talk about the machine learning models and both classical and the modern or deep learning machine learning models. And then they actually talk about the final stage of the machine learning deployment and data science deployment and stuff. All right. Like always, if you have any question, um, please feel free to leave a comment under my video. I will do my best to answer your question. If you like my content, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends as well. Thank you so much. Bye.